Um, about a year ago, uh, I worked for the State Board of Education. And by the way, I want to introduce a couple of members of the board that are here joining us today because of how important it is and the great things that are happening at this high school. I've got Sarah Fowler, who is actually the uh, board member that represents this. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sarah Fowler is uh, near here. Merle Johnson, who is the board member who represents this part of the state. And Kirsten Hill, who is further up here in Lake Erie, but further to the west. Um, and I also want to make sure we recognize uh, Katie, Katie Berger from Congressman Joyce's office. She's right here. Um, about a year ago, we passed, uh, um, we adopted a strategic plan for education. It was called Each Child Our Future. And that was our way as a state of committing to making sure that each and every child gets what they need to ensure their future success. Because your success is the success of this community, it's the success of this county, it's the success of our state, and it's the success of our nation. And one of the things in that strategic plan, it was strategy number 10 that said, you know what, we really need to dig deep and think about the high school experience. Because so many times we talk to high school students and we hear, well, you know, I'm really kind of bored or I don't really get why I'm learning all this stuff or I'm not sure what I want to do with my life or, you know, I, I, I'm having a bad time and, and I feel kind of lost or, or maybe I'm just checking the boxes because I know if I want to go to college, I got to take this test and take these classes and put this on my transcript and have this on my resume. And we felt like, gee, I mean, shouldn't high school be a joyful, strong learning environment that helps build a well-rounded student and, and, and gets at all the aspects of what great living and what great learning is like. So what, what, what did we do? We convened a little task force on high school redesign and we committed saying, you know, let's go out there and find great high schools and celebrate great high schools and that is what's brought me here today to Harding High School. I love what you all are doing under the leadership of, of your superintendent, under the leadership of your principal, with the guidance of your board of education, with the guidance of your community. You all um, have begun to do exactly the kinds of things that our strategic plan wants. Personalize the learning experience. I loved what I heard about many years, a couple of years ago when you got a straight A grant and you had the whole hooked on education philosophy. Um, and you did the lures, right? The fishing lures, which I thought was such a classic project because it brought all the different learning skills together and also taught you entrepreneurship and communication skills and working in teams and um, you know, troubleshooting and design thinking, all those other things that will serve you well in life. So the fact that this high school has continued in that tradition of personalized learning, I think is absolutely fantastic because it gives each of you an opportunity to select what it is that you want to do and think about and, and what you're passionate about and to nurture those passions and those aspirations. The other thing I absolutely love is what you're doing in terms of early college. Um, we all know how valuable it is to be able to earn college credits, and you all are capable of doing college-level work already. So why not set up the program and the experience to allow that to happen? And the fact that this district has made the commitment to make Harding High School an early college where each and every student attending here, um, the expectation is that you graduate with some number of college credits or that you have a fantastic experience as part of the career technical education program, either, either here at Auburn. I mean, that's just absolutely amazing. Because again, it sets you on the track for future success. So that's why, that's why we're here today is to celebrate those kinds of amazing accomplishments. And I want to commend you and tell you how proud I am, not only of the administration and the leadership here in the district, but of each and every one of you um, for being partners in that change, for being participants in the difference that you're making, and for being, those, uh, being a set of students in Ohio that are experiencing absolutely first-rate experience.